continue with the objective questions for the maths 2023 the next one is number 11 i think that should be here yeah that's the number 11 and the question is a function f is defined by x plus 2 over x minus 3 where x is not equal to 3 find the inverse of f this is what you do what this simply means is f of x equals x plus 2 over x minus 3 where x is not equal to 3 so you just say let y be equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3 now we make x the subject of this equation let me cross multiply and then that becomes y into bracket x minus 3 equals x plus 2 and that means xy minus 3y equals x plus 2 which means xy minus x equals 2 plus 3y and that means x into bracket y minus 1 equals 2 plus 3y which means x equals 2 plus 3y over y minus 1 so now the inverse of the inverse of f is going to be this one what you just do to get the inverse of f will be replace all of the y's here with x's so therefore the inverse of f which is f inverse of x is now going to be 2 plus 3x over x minus 1 or you can write it as 3x plus 2 over x minus 1 of course x must not be equal to 1 so the inverse of f is equal to 3x plus 2 over x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 and the correct option is b now we go straight to the next which is number 12 number 12 says given that given that m is the midpoint of t let me just draw the line m is the midpoint of t with coordinates 2 4 and q with coordinates minus 8 6 the midpoint is m now find the length mq first of all i need to find the coordinates of m that's the coordinates that's the formula for finding the coordinates of the midpoint midpoint of a line and that's x1 plus x2 over 2 which is 2 plus minus 8 which is 2 minus 8 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 that's 4 plus 6 over 2 and that simply means 2 minus 8 is minus 6 that's minus 6 over 2 10 over 2 which is the same as minus 3 5 so the coordinates of m are minus 3 5 and now the length of a line mq is equal to the square root that's just the distance between two points x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared and the square root of the whole of that that's minus 8 minus minus 3 all squared plus 6 minus 5 all squared 6 minus 5 all squared and that is square root of minus 8 minus minus 3 is the same as minus 8 plus 5 which is sorry is the same as minus 8 plus 3 which means minus 5 so we have the square of minus 5 plus the square of 1 and that simply means root 25 plus 1 which is equal to root 26 so the 
length of line MQ is root 26 units and the option that matches that is B we go straight to the next which is number 13 number 13 given that y squared plus xy equals 5 find dy dx this is an implicit function so whenever you differentiate a y in it you attach dy dx to that the derivative of y so when we differentiate y squared normally we'll get 2y but well, because this y is in an implicit function i will attach dy dx to that answer plus now i'm differentiating the product xy i'll put down the first which is x differentiate the second when we differentiate y normally we get one but because i'm differentiating a y in an implicit function i will attach dy dx to it plus put down the second which is y differentiate the first when we differentiate x we get one and that's equal to the derivative of five is zero so now i can write it as 2y dy dx plus x dy dx plus y equals zero and this is the same as saying dy dx into bracket 2y plus x equals minus y they really don't write it this way you write it as 2y plus x in you know you write 2y plus x before dy dx so it's supposed to be 2y plus x 2y plus x dy dx 2y plus x dy dx equals minus y and that means dy dx equals minus y over 2y plus x and the correct option is the option that matches that is b now straight we go to number 14 number 14 given that the set p as element x such that 2 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 8 that means the elements of the set p are 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and the set q as element x such that 4 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 12 that means the elements of the set q are 4 is less than x that means the elements do include 4 and they are 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now set given that the set p and q are subsets of the universal set u the universal set u is the set which has element x such that x is a member of r so that means the universal set u is a set of real numbers find p intersection q complement what we do is find p union q so that's a set that contains p and q and how do we do that write all the elements of p and then write the remaining elements of q that are not already in p that's the combination of p and q so the elements of the elements of p are let me just copy that and paste it here the elements of p are two three four five six seven eight so if i'm combining p and q i'll just write the remaining elements that are in q but not in p and that will be the combination of p and q and that will be what are those elements they're just 9 10 11 and 12 so that's the set p union q now q complement will be the set that contains elements that are in p union q but not in q and that will be q is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so q complement will be 2 3 4 the element of a set q complement will now be 2 3 4 now what is the intersection of the set p and the set q complement let me bring the set p down this is set p and then see what's common to to its element of it and the element of q so p intersection q 
still complement on and be equal to that two three four that's the yeah that is said p intersection q complement and to write it the way they wrote they described the sets is going to be two less than or equal to x less than or equal to four two less than or equal to x less than or equal to four and we go straight to the next which is number 15 the probabilities that at times when they will hit a target in a shooting contest are 1 over 6 and 1 over 9 1 over, nine, one over 6 and 1 over 9 respectively find the probability that only one of them will hit the target let p a be the probability that at will hit the target and that's 1 over 6 and p t be the probability that only will hit the target which is 1 over 9 now p a complement is the probability that at all will not hit the target and that's 1 minus 1 over 6 which is 5 over 6 and p t complement is the probability that 2 they will not hit the target and that's 1 minus 1 over 9 which is 8 over 9 now the probability that only one of them will hit the target is the same as the probability that at all will hit it but 2 they will not hit it or I will not eat it, but Tunde will eat it, and that's equal to. Probably say that Tunde eats it is one over six. So we probably say that I eats it is one over six. Times so probably say that Tunde will not eat it is eight over nine. Plus probably say that Tunde will not eat it is five over six. That's five over six. Times probably say that probably say that I will not eat it. Is 5 over 6 so that's a complement times probably say that 2 day will eat it is 1 over 9 and that is same as 8 over 54 plus 5 over 54 which is the same which is equal to 13 over 54 and the correct option is B so we go straight to the next which is number 16 what does that say The table, the table shows the marks obtained by students in the test. If the mean mark is 3, find the value of k. We know that mean x bar is given by summation fx over summation f. And that simply means 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 2 times k, which is 2k plus 3 times 1 which is 3 plus 4 times 1 which is 4 plus 5 times 2 which is 10 over that summation this numerator is summation fx down to summation f that's 2 plus k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals mean which is given as 3 so that simply means 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 10 is 19 and that means 19 plus k over 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6 over 19 plus k over 6 plus k equals 3. Now we cross multiply to have 19 plus k equals 3 into bracket 6 plus k. And that means 19 plus k equals 18 plus 3k which means 19 minus 18 equals 3k minus k and that simply means k equals 1 so the correct option is a now to the next which is number 17 3 if 3x squared plus px plus 12 equals 0 as equal root find the value of p for this quadratic equation to have equal roots the condition b squared equals 4ac must be satisfied so if this quadratic equation has equal roots that means b squared equals 4ac and here a is 3 b is p and c is 12 so that means p squared equals 4 times 3 times 12 which means p squared equals 140 
which means p squared equals 144. Which means p squared equals 144.